Hi. Um, Shunak said he never broke the ministerial code. That's a lie, because they all have one way or the other. Patel and Boris are trying to break another one by this Miranda scheme. They've broken already with Partygate and so on. It's about how many times they can get away with it. That's what they do. That's the cabinet. And also, these train strikes would not happen if, the, if that cabinet were not, were not in power. There's going to be more industries striking because they're not being listened to, they're not being cared of. And how Labour are getting blamed for it when Labour aren't, aren't even in power and Labour are against. Um, they're not against the train strikes, but they're against that the train stri strikes need to happen. The Tories don't care. They're probably in some way happy it's happening because they want to make this country as dysfunctional as possible. They want to embarrass this country on the international stage, they want to humiliate this country on the international stage by the way around the scheme, by the um, party gate. They really don't care about their own country. They only care about themselves. And that's always been that way. And how Boris keeps up the same fake statistic Two kids down like Christians yesterday, repeatedly, 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 I bet it's all fake. And how many times he can be mysterious code? How many times he can break it? Well, it seems as many times he likes because there's nothing to be done about it. Jokes. And how much they don't care about wanting to embarrass and humiliate this country? They want to leave the EU conventional of honour of human rights. People like that should be in a mental hospital, not in power. Really should be. Disgusting. Complete vermin. Pathetic. Just, um, <clears throat> Why am I thanks, bro?